Hi everyone, so this is just a really quick tutorial on how to create your own paper mache paste at home. Now, as some of you know, you can make paper mache paste using one part PVA glue to two parts water. And that is a really easy way to make paper mache paste, but I know not everybody has access to PVA glue at home. So we're gonna do a super easy method that most people can do with the things they've got in their cupboards. So what you're going to need is a big jug or a big mixing bowl of some kind, something that you're not going to get things that splash on you. You're going to need a small cup or a small um, Tupperware, and this is to measure the ingredients out. Now my mugs were just far too big, so I've decided to use a small Tupperware. You're going to need a fork for mixing. You're going to need some plain flour or self-raising flour is fine. Just any kind of white flour will be great and you're going to need some boiled water so if you're young i'd rather you be doing this with an adult um obviously just to minimize the risk of burns first thing that we're going to do is into our jug we are just going to put one cup full or one tupperware full whatever your measurement is of plain flour I've put that straight in and it's the same as a PVA glue but it's one part flour to two parts water so but we use a lot um, bigger parts this time because if you're using PVA glue you wouldn't need this much so it's one part flour to two parts water so I'm going to pour some water into my little Tupperware hot boiled water a mug might be best for this because you wouldn't be burning yourself you wouldn't be um, risking burning yourself so one and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my fork and I'm going to give that a good mix and get rid of all the lumps so I might be standing here for one or two minutes doing this obviously if some of you've got a hand blender that's going to be so much easier but I'm going to get with skin and try and make it as smooth as I can Okay, so that has taken some real mixing and I haven't even got all of the lumps out yet, but you can see it's starting to now look pretty gloopy. I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit more water to loosen up my mixture a little bit because it's gonna keep thickening up for a while until it completely cools down. So I think I'll probably add another quarter full of a cup, so a really tiny amount, and then give it another good mix and wear myself out again. Okay, so I've stirred that as much as I can and there's still a couple of tiny lumps in but that doesn't really matter because we can always smooth that out when we use it. Now that mixture can cool down completely before you use it, pop some cling film on and it'll last in the fridge for two to three days, maybe a little bit longer but I just like to use it within two to three days. So I'm going to go ahead now and use this on one of my craft um, activities once it's cooled down. So let me know how you get on guys and good luck. <laughs> 